Welcome to We Go Look. We're excited to have you on board and tell you more about what it means to be a looker. Hi again, it's Devin with We Go Look. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of performing a look together. In the world of We Go Look, jobs are known as looks. Lookers perform all types of looks, from auto inspections, to property assessments, to document services. Some lookers even use drones to capture images and videos from the air. And this example we're about to walk through together is a basic vehicle inspection. But please remember, the same basic process applies to most of our looks. Let's get started. When a look becomes available in your area, you'll receive a notification on the mobile app. When we open the notification, we'll be taken directly to the Looks Overview page. Here, we'll see information such as look type, payment amount, estimated travel distance, and more. At this point, we can decide whether or not we'd like to accept the look. Due to privacy restrictions, we may not see certain details like address or names before accepting the look. Let's go ahead and accept the look. Now, we can review all of the information. An overview of the look is located at the top of the page and includes specific details like location, on-site contact details, and more. We can also see some of the instructions that may be required, including required tools, appointment requirements, and other details. Now that we know everything we need to do, let's reach out to the on-site contact and schedule an appointment. After scrolling back to the top of the look, we can click the Schedule Now button to get started. When scheduling, there are two things to keep in mind. First, looks must be completed during daylight hours unless indicated in the instructions. Second, we typically have two to three days to complete the look, but clients may require rush delivery, so it's important to pay attention to the due date. Calling strangers can sometimes be nerve wracking, but don't worry, the team at the WeGo Look headquarter office has already reached out to the on-site contact before sending out the look notification. This means that our on-site contact is ready for our call even before we accepted the look. Let's touch the call button and reach out to the on-site contact. Hmm. Nobody answered. What should we do? Not to worry. Since we couldn't reach them, we'll touch the unable to schedule button and try again in a few hours. Persistence usually pays off. Once we get a hold of them and schedule an appointment, we can enter the date and time inside the WeGo Look mobile app. This is very important because not only does it keep WeGo Look informed, but it also allows the customer to stay informed because they can view the status of the look that they purchased in real time. Now, the day of the appointment has arrived. We're about to head out for the look. We should probably reach out to the on-site contact one more time and let them know that we're on our way. While this isn't required, it prepares the on-site contact so they're ready for us and often leads to a faster completion time. Also, before we head out, let's be sure that we're dressed appropriately. Since our client is expecting professional work, we should dress the part and stick with the professional attire. Once we're on site, we can use the app to show our WeGo Look credentials by touching the badge in the top right-hand corner. After greeting the on-site contact, it's time to start the inspection, simply by scrolling to the bottom of the look and clicking the Start Look button. For this auto inspection, the app is directing us to verify the year, make, model, and VIN of the vehicle. Next, we'll begin taking photos. You can see here that the app is walking us through all of the photos that need to be taken. But what if we're not car people and we don't know what this means? That's okay. We can simply touch the eye in the top right of the screen to see examples of what exactly needs to be captured. We call these tool tips. The first photo is a front full view. Then, a bumper measurement. Here, we'll need to watch out for three very important things. One, the top of the bumper needs to be visible. Two, the measuring device needs to be visible in the photo with the zero at the bottom. And three, the numbers on the measuring device need to be legible. Next is a driver's side full view. Let's get lined up. Perfect. As a side note, since the app allows us to capture photos in landscape or portrait format, it's up to us to decide what's best for each photo. That said, here's a quick tip. Most photos required are generally best captured in landscape. Now, it's asking for a wheel view. Remember, the customer is trying to get as much detail as possible, so a straight on view is going to work much better than a picture taken from a high angle while looking down. Now, we're being asked to capture the front driver's side exterior panel. Again, if we don't know what that means, we can always touch the eye 
in the top right hand corner to pull up the tool tip. When all of the required photos have been captured and everything on our list has a check mark, looks good to go, right? To complete this look, scroll to the bottom and hit the submit button. That's it. We've completed our first look. Our photos and information are now off to the WeGo Look Quality Assurance team for review. Once our work is approved, a report will be sent to the client. At the same time, WeGo Look's accounting team will begin processing our payment. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you a better understanding of how to complete a look. Be sure to check out our other videos and resources as well. You can access over 100 of them on our FAQ section right inside the app or visit our Looker support site anytime at support.wegolook.com.